the rootstock, and I bring, when I got it here two two weeks ago, I, I had 3,700 uh, rootstock here, but I bought a bunch in. It takes about a week and a half for them to warm up, and they take it springtime out and warm, and they start growing. And that's when I that's when I know the the rootstock is ready to graft onto. So that's M11. Is that from Fedco, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the only one I use. Three, three, four years, you'll have all kinds of apples on it. Standard root stock. I got some twenty years now. I ain't, I ain't had done. an apple. They'll be sitting in here another week, and I cover them up. So it's warm in here. Yeah, it's and 70, 80 degrees, and and they're in a mix of uh, sawdust and, uh, and grow gr mix. Growers mix. Grow mix. Yeah. And that way it feeds them a little bit before I set them out in the spring. So these cider apples have a bark graft rather than a uh, whip and tongue. Yeah, because it's had to, it's had, with this sign wood so small, it's had to uh, match it up, you know, to go up. So you've got two or three buds on that uh, piece of sign. And some, I like the tips of the sign wood on a lot of them because you use the side pieces sometimes certain crabs they'll want to start weeping down to the ground so if you got the, the, the so this is a parafilm grafting uh, tape and then it's covered with a tree coat uh, on top that will keep it on that will keep the parafilm on till middle at least middle of summer before it drops off this is a new bundle of uh, M11 rootstock there are 50 in this bundle M Very good. Only thing to have right there. That will grow apples. In three years you'll have apples. I cut them off. I cut it off about eight, nine inches above. And when I set the tree down in the ground, I plant them way up here because the roots want to grow. Roots will grow up quite high. My hands will be clean and I won't get, you don't want your finger mats on a new wound. Never touch the uh, wood where you cut it. No, uh, your your hands got oil and dirt on them and stuff. And if you get dirt in here, chances are when your piece I put on your cambium layer has got to match this, and it'll you know it'll take right so you've off. You've got maybe five or six inches of grafting tape. That will stretch you. That will stretch good, and uh, that should be ten. So your knife. This you need a knife like this. I buy them at Fedco. They're only you only sharpen them on one side. If you sharpen them on both sides, you ruin the knife. There, you don't want that. So I, when I do this, I think an inch. You should do it in one or two cuts. If you keep whittling it, and uh, each time you every every move you make is less. It's going to take. And this is the uh, tongue right now. Then I cut that in. Then that tongue there will, when I cut. This is a cyan wood being uh, cut to match. And I'm going to leave two buds. I don't need to, but I will. I'll, but later on I'll have to get and kill one. Uh, I'll have to cut one of them off. So this part here should stop right there. And this part here should stop right there. We'll see how I did. Wow, that looks good. So that tongue is stopped right there. I overshot it just by a hair. And this tongue over, I shot it here. But the cambium matched up on just the uh, just one, one side. One side. Yeah. And the cambium is the tongue is hitting both sides right there. Yes. And it's and it's hitting here. And I could. If you tipped it upside down, it fell off. You didn't do a good job. This so is non. This ain't a. This ain't a sticky tape. Then I turn the tree, and I'm put, putting quite a lot of pull on that. No, you won't believe how I do it. <laughs> My wife don't like it, but I put that there, and I grow my fingernail out. Okay. I take my fingernail. And it's all done. I I've hooked that to dather with my fingernail. 
seal the top and I just put this on just to uh, make it stay on later in the summertime. That's all I do. And you never have to take that uh, that off I guess as the tree grows? And... It, yeah, uh, as the tree grows, expands, that will fall right off. And I named the tree right there. I'm doing a, it's a cider apple and I'll I find I put 30 in a, I can put 30 in a pail without hitting the buds. I don't want to crowd it and get the tire on my buds. When I get 30 in a pail, I just move the pail over and it takes four or five hours f for the tree coat to dry. That graph. So this is that my, I squeeze down till my knife made a popping noise, went through it. I just open that up. It's about an inch uh, in length, I think. And good view of the cambium, too, where the uh, bark separated. And pick it that. Then I put that right in there. I wiggle it a little bit. goes right underneath. I just put my hold it down with my finger so I don't rip the back. Yeah, and that's a bark graft. That's a bark graft. Then if you can tell if you did a good job or not, if you pick it up and don't fall out, <laughs> you can uh, seal it up. Yeah, I'm going to cut that and butter. Then I take that, my last thing, I re pull that right up over. Okay. And it seals that. And then I take the tree coat. And she's all done. Wow. You do 240 of these a day, you yeah. would say? Very nice. <laughs> I could do, I, I've done uh, close to 300 before in a day. Inch. And when I go through, I want my knife come out right to the bottom of this cambium layer right here. And I got the, I got the, So I got the flop, or I got the, I go about right in the middle, go right in the middle, okay. then then my piece, my sign wood I put on, I go right in the middle, I go in, oh, quarter of an inch or less, mm -hmm. and that way if you have both cots, you can go back and forth till you match up these There's another whip and tongue, a, a very small piece of uh, sign on a bigger rootstock, but we can see the cambium is really lined up perfectly on on one side. And that's the key, right? Yeah, that's the most uh, secret is making this the tongue match up. Don't matter how big this is, when you uh, make that cut the tongue, you can make it same size as your your sign wood you're putting on. It's a whip and tongue with just one butt on this uh, graft. Very but nice. I usually do I usually do most of mine uh, one bud because if I leave two buds late in the summer I have to go along on my hands and knees and cut. Uh, Stop, stop, okay. Ready for the bucket. Before I move them out in my cooler pot of the shed, I'll uh, I'll take one of these off and I'll 
I can uh, I can tell if it's callous to gather or not. So you'll know in two weeks that yeah. it's taken. Yeah. Then actually, then uh, then I'll take a bucket of trees and just drop them right in, and uh, about a foot apart, maybe. Yeah, foot apart, yeah. and the uh, and the rows of the there's four four wide, and if it's uh, got a hundred of them, I have a uh, you know I have twenty five trees in in each row on uh, trees before I graft them. Okay, and that makes the box. That will make the box slip. Okay. You know. Just like on a rainy day, uh, you go out. And if you're doing bud grafts in uh, in uh, in August, after a rainy night, you get right up early. Everything is wet, and you can bud graft. You know, everything will go good. You know, it's slipping by noontime when the sun gets out hot. You can see the back ain't slipping so so much. That's great. Thank so, you. Yeah. Till the uh, knife goes through the cambium and it will make a popping noise. Then you just take your knife and just go sideways, loosen that skin up. And it's a good view of the cambium right underneath. And then all you got to do is see this right wet right here. That everything works better with it. A little damp, you know. Get that right under. Put your finger, slide that right down. Beautiful. Then if you shake it, falls off, this graph is no good. <laughs> this one here is a hundred hundred percent guaranteed it will work. Then when you do the top grafting out in the field, after you do make your graft, you use your tree coat, you want to go back a week later, redo it, because that will crack open and let water into your graft, and sometime that will stop it from, from growing. I've seen them crack, and late in the summer your graft will die, because it's got water down in it. So... <laughs> So spring is a really good time. Maybe, yeah, uh, first of May. And they work really well. Yeah, everything is growing good. Stop there. Stop there. <laughs> I could have been faster, but I you know. <laughs> yes, then I got thirty net pail. I just take them over here and let them. Let the tree coat dry, and then I'll uh, so put that on a. This is growers mix going on, a, on the grass. And these I, were just done this morning. And I'll wet that, wet that down good. And I'll put some of that wet mix growers mix in. They're all ready. And sure. This is a this is a new new one here. So I this is my last ones I done here. This is Selkirk flower and crab. This is a cider apple. So I put the different colored ribbons on. So I know I'm going to a different there. I'll keep that here for two weeks. And once they callous together, I'll move them out in my grad, my other pot where it's cool. So these are ones you've uh, grafted? Yeah, they've been in, I've grafted them, and they've been in uh, temperature 70 and 80 degrees for two weeks. 
And now they've calloused over, and I've brought them out in the cooler part to hold them back till I can get them in the ground. I don't want them to get leaved out too bad, too much. Checking now to see if my graft is calloused together. This has been out uh, in storage for a couple of weeks. It's been in. I just moved these out in the cold part. Uh, Yeah, you can see that it's all calloused together. So when you top work a tree in the uh, spring, you use electrical tape. This yes, is 3M, it'll, I guess. It uh, will stay. It will stay on, and it's sticky. And you, it will. Uh, you can wrap it right around. It'll stick right to it. Then the following year, you'll have to come and cut it off because it won't rot off. Yeah. If you don't take it off, it'll girdle your limbs and top Thank work. Thank you so much. Wonderful <laughs> course, Dalton. <laughs>